Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is Windows Server 2019 training tutorial and this is fourth video in this series and today in this video I'm going to show you how to install additional domain control on Windows Server 2019. So in last video we have created our first domain controller uh, which is uh, basically first forest um, in our lab environment which is vectorinfosol.com and now we are going to add one more domain controller in that forest to become an additional domain controller so here is my environment which we are going to use in this demo so in last video we have created this machine and we have promoted this server as a domain controller and DNS server so uh, the first machine is win2k19 dc01 and the domain name is vectorinfosol.com so here you can see win2k dc01 this is our server this is our domain name and if I go here you can see ActiveDirect users and computer and everything there and you can see under the domain controls we have one domain control which is global catalog under the side India so this is our first domain controller and now we are going to add this second machine which is win2k12 dc01 as a secondary domain controller in this um, infrastructure or you can say uh, like additional domain control so uh, this is our win2k19 dc01 02 virtual machine this is a brand new machine you can see uh, the first thing we need to configure the IP address so I'm going to configure one IP address here so we need to make sure what is the IP address configure on this machine so it's 201 and if I go here on the DC01 we need to change the uh, gateway or DC uh, DNS settings here so I'm going to put 202 and here I'm going to add my like Google uh, DNS to get the intranet so I have added the primary and secondary d domain controller IP address here now I'm going to configure the IP address on my secondary domain machine so uh, let's configure it to 2002 202 and 201 here for the alternative DNS so this is going to be our DNS setting for the DC01 and on the second machine I'm going to disable IPv6 first and I'm going to configure now IP address so IP address should be 192.168.0.202 and then this is going to be one and then one primary DNS it's going to be 201 DC01 and secondary DNS is going to be itself 202 and then we can add one more DNS here Google DNS to get the internet so we have configured the IP address now you can see verify the IP address here so this is good and now uh, what we need to do next we can disable this ad for administrator security feature and now we are good to join this machine in domain so I'm going to click on uh, change and I'm going to put here win2k19 dc02 and I'm going to join this machine in domain so victor in infosol.local and the administrator credential to join this machine in domain so welcome to the victor infosol.local domain so we are good and now I'm going to reboot this machine so this machine now you can verify this machine is going to be join our domain so if I go here on my DC01 under the computers you will see this machine is now joined as a computer here my domain so it's going to be 2019 data center edition so this is good and now we are going to promote this machine as a domain control so we'll see how we can do that so we are good I'm going to log in this machine as a Victor InfoSoul administrator so I'm going to type here name first Victor InfoSoul 
administrator then I'm going to put the password for administrator account so now I have logged into this machine as a domain administrator rights you can see here uh, with the administrator account which having all the rights member of you can see domain admins enterprise admin so you require these type of role like domain administrator role to promote any server as a domain control so I have logged in with that account so we are good and now this machine is a currently standalone virtual uh, you can say server which is joined in this domain victorinfosol.com uh, dot local but it's not a domain controller so we are going to now promote this machine as a domain controller so I'm going to click on add add role and features and click next role based installation and I'm going to select here my server which is DC02 click next and I'm going to select active directory domain services and these are all the features are like management tools so click and add click next next and then you need to click on install so it's going to install this feature active directory services and all the tools which is here given management like group policy management remote x remote server administration tools everything and then we are good to go uh, and promote this server as a additional domain controller in this forest which is victorinfosol.com so we'll see after promoting this server is going to be moved from here from computers to the domain controller so we'll see after promoting and we will verify uh, this machine uh, it's going to be fully promoted as a domain controller so we'll see how we can do that so it's going to take some time to get the installation done and then we are ready to promote this machine so now you can see promote this server to a domain control so I'm going to click on it and this is going to be your add additional domain add a domain control to existing domain so we have existing domain which is victorinfosol.com and I'm, uh, I'm going to add this additional domain control so this is going to take the credential here which I have logged in which is administrator account of victorinfosol so this is good current user if you don't have uh, you have not logged in with the administrator credential you need to type that credential here so we are good with this so I'm going to click on next and then it's uh, going to give us uh, the a site name and the password for directory service restore mode so we need to enter this password here and then click next and from there where it's going to replicate from so we have only one domain controller so we can replicate from there or you can uh, this can be replicated from any writable domain so domain controller so this is good click next and this is going to give you the path where you want to install this uh, active directory database and all so it's going to default database path anti DLS and TS in Windows log is also going to be saved in same and syswall is uh, going to be in syswall so this is the default I'm going with the default options so click next and now you can save this script if you want what it's going to do it's going to import ADS deployment module then install domain controller no global catalog false means it's going to be a domain a global catalog server then what is the path, domain name and everything is there so you can save it if you want so like you can call it dc02 dot ps1 and save it in a powershell and now you can click next and it's going to verify all the pre-requests if everything goes well so you can see all pre-request check pass successfully and you can install click on install to begin the installation so now installation is started so it's going to inst uh, install the DNS server role and then promote this machine as a domain controller and then automatically it's going to reboot after reboot we can verify this machine is going to be moved from this computers to domain controller so you can see uh, it's uh, still here so once the installation is done for active directory and DNS it's going to move to domain controller folders here then we are able to see our DC02 here 
so you can see it's moved here now and now we have two domain controllers DC01 and DC02 and both are global catalog under the site India so this is good thing and now you can see it's going to reboot so you can verify from here also also if you want you can go here and in a site uh, site and services and you can verify the replication and everything here so you can see now if you go to the sites under the India now you have two servers here and you can see like what is the type of this uh, inter-site database and object everything you can see and also you can come here and you can see the properties this is going to be a global catalog server connection type object security everything is there so these two machines are now going to be your like two domain controllers in this infrastructure so we have to wait for a few more seconds then you are going to get the replication also so this is good and now we are able to log in this machine so you can see we are able to log in now we can verify from here now you can see it's automatically generated replication type is created and if I click on replicate now you're going to see the active directory domain services has replicated the connections so this is good so we got two active directory server domain controller working and now let's verify few things here like you can see on DC2 we have active directory and DNS installed and everything is green so good and we have active directory users and computers here also so let's create one user here under the India uh, call it like user 0 to so a uh, user 0 1 so we are creating this user here on our DC 2 and we'll see if it's going to replicate to DC 0 1 so we have created that on DC 2 and now let's verify so you can see user is uh, on DC02 and DC01 also so both domain control are in a sync so this is good so this is all how we can uh, like add additional domain control in your active directory infrastructure so this is all about how to install additional domain control on Windows Server 2019 so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can always post me on my given mail IDs. Thank you once again. Bye bye.